of us. Yes, this is not our dog. <laughs> but we are doggy sitting this awesome little pup right now. And he's such a snuggle bug. And I have chapstick on, so he wants to lick it off. Play it's not going to happen. <laughs> Mm. Oh my gosh. So we just got back from the beach. We were trying to find time to record an episode before we went to the beach, but we just celebrated our 14th anniversary mm -hmm. and went to the beautiful Oregon coast. It was like 90 plus degrees here in Portland. Yes. And it was cool and cloudy at the beach. It was pretty sunny the first day, but it was definitely standard Oregon beach weather. Um, so hi, <laughs> I'm Howard, AKA Minilead. You'll maybe know me from the work that I've done for Critical Role. I did the airship for the current season and the uh, ship called the Squall Eater, formerly called the Squall Eater for the second season. I also sell houses for a living. And because I make things like this, I tell people I sell little tiny houses and big houses that you can live in. Houses big and small. And people can find you on social media. Oh yeah, media at... uh, my Instagram is Minileads Miniature Worlds and my Twitter account is just at Minilead. That's right, and I am Michelle, also known as Forever Mia Knits. I am on Ravelry and I am on Instagram by that handle. And I am a knitter, spinner, crocheter, um, getting back into sewing a little bit now that my sewing table is accessible because we did our garage sale and got so much stuff cleared out of the garage space. So now I can actually get to my sewing space, which is really exciting. I was able to do some mending. I had a pile of clothes <laughs> that just had like little rips on seams that just needed stitched shut. So you're like a clothing cleric. I know there's a pile of jeans that are still there that I'm like, Hmm. Should I just let her mend those jeans or should I just buy more cheap jeans or should I buy expensive jeans? No, I really want, <laughs> I really want to figure out how to do, um, something called visible mending where it's mending that's done well and looks really neat and adds a lot of longevity to the life of your jeans because it feels really lame to spend money on jeans and then they get a tear and then they just go to the dump. Like they, they should last longer than this. Jeans should last a long time. I agree. So, working on that. Oh, you're so snuggly. Speaking of working on stuff, are we going straight into what's on the workbench, what's on the needles? Yes. Let's so, do it. Am I going first? Yeah. Okay. Um, I don't have a ton of in-progress stuff to show. Tiamat that I showed off last episode is pretty much exactly where she was last time. Um, I've just done very minor touch-ups to the base, but I still need to finish her base before I um, base coat her and then uh, paint her up. So hopefully within the next couple of episodes, I'll have more progress on her. But I also just got another ship commission, so that's going to take priority over Tiamat since Tiamat is a personal project. So the ship that you see behind me is the Mega Blocks Dread Eye Phantom. And this is, pardon me, bigger than the dog that we're watching. <laughs> um, it is not, however, quite as wide as Tiamat's wingspan. So for a scale, Ooh. this is about 30 inches from the from the tip <laughs> to the tail. You're going to have you to glue that. Broke that piece off. Your thumb was pushing it. <laughs> um, so the whole ship is going to get completely redone. You can see all the pegs are still on it. I'm not trying to block your beautiful face. Um, all the pegs will come off. I'll plank the whole top of all of the decks. This area back here where you can see through it, that's going to be filled in and covered up. Um, the holes on the deck that are there for gameplay for Legos or Mega Bloks um, are actually going to be planked over and um, the whole thing, of course, will get repainted. I don't know how much I'll get done between now and the next episode, but I'm hoping to have all of the blocks or all of the pegs trimmed off and most of it planked. And then, um, I'll start working on more, adding more detail. I'm going to probably do a different figure, figurehead 
this is the the one that's on it what is that um it's like a skeleton thing um the person who's buying this is doing it for a warhammer fantasy army age of sigmar um soul blight army which is like an undead army oh so the skeleton so the skeleton theme work. will absolutely be a central part of the design what kind of bone um, do you think that this is from like what what is big enough well in the warhammer world there are plenty of large creatures dragons and maw crushes and probably sea monsters that i'm not aware of if you're more familiar than i am with warhammer which is probably a lot of you out of the seven viewers that we have <laughs> um the the um, the Dreadfleet game that we're still working on the giveaway for uh, takes place in the Warhammer setting. So I assume that whatever sea creatures are in that would be plenty big enough to have bones tied to a pirate ship. It's just going to be really cool looking, I think, when it's done. Yeah, I've done definitely. one of these before. I did one for Joe. Yeah. And um, the color scheme worked out awesome because the, the wood parts were mostly black or very, very dark. And then you like, did like a gray white. planking. Yeah, yeah, like a desaturated wash on it. Yes. Um, and that's pretty much all I've got for my work in progress stuff this week. The other stuff that I have to show off is finished things. Yay, good job. All right, in progress right now, I am working on a giant, well, it's not giant yet. I'm working on a blanket. And so... You need to hold something. Sure. Right now, you can hold this open and look inside. Oh, okay. I just have loads of blue yarn scraps. Mm hmm Closer, closer. And Ooh, I, like I have that. even more than that. <laughs> um, but that's what I've got in there for right now. Yum, yum, yum. And I... Are you going to use all of this? Oh, I'm sure. It is. By the time this gets through. Making... We can hold the other half of it over there. Yeah. A big blue wavy blanket. This is gonna be perfect for taking pictures with my ship on it. <laughs> that That's why you're making this That's for me. <laughs> not why I'm making this. <laughs> the nice thing is I haven't decided if it's gonna go if this will actually be like up and the down, top, or up and side down, side. or side to side, I can just kind of make it as big as I want to, or until I run out of blue yarn. Um, and once you're out of blue yarn, they don't make any more, right? So this is it. That's it. There's no more. That's too bad. That's too bad you don't know how to dye your own yarn. <laughs> you don't have to zip it shut. Okay. But that ties into, I mean, kind of the basic behind that is it's a comfort blanket. I've made a couple of comfort blankets so far for family in grief. And so this one is my grief blankie, <laughs> basically. And it just, it's like multiple layers of meaning, but mostly like those waves of grief. Like yeah. they're not going anywhere. We're learning how to walk with grief and journey in it. So we can talk more about that towards the end. But uh, now, what have you done today to make you feel proud? I actually have some finished things to show off. So last time I showed off this guy because somebody had asked my kids, I think, were like, what's that thing behind you on the, on the table? Um, and this I never finished. Like, I never truly finished painting it. But I do have one of these, and it's the McFarlane action figures from their Zodiac series. And this was an Ares figure that I added wings to, and the wings... I gotta cover my eyes, so I focus on that. And the wings are made out of fabric that's got this really cool texture. Let me see if you can see the texture on those. Um, I found that fabric and I was like, this would be so cool for dragon skin or something. And I used it for the wings on this. So the wings are over a wire armature. Um, and then I used some magic sculpt uh, or epoxy sculpting clay. And then repainted the whole thing uh, to look more like a Warhammer demon. And I'm pretty stoked with this guy. He's actually, he'd been at a friend's house for the last few years. 
um, cause he just has a lot more space than I do. And he was kind of sad to see him go. And I was like, I just want to show him off. So I don't know if I'm going to return him to my friend's house or if he's going to stay with me for a little while, but he's pretty cool. I think. So hopefully you think so too. Mm -hmm. Also, the base. I showed the base kind no, no, of. No, 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 Oh, that base? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> America Online saves the day. <laughs> I don't know. That's probably just an old blank CD, but still, it's fun. It's very clever use of an old disc. Um, I don't know if I can hold this without dropping them, so I'll just show them off individually. You sure? Okay. I don't, I don't, they're not super, like, secure. Okay. Well, yeah, do a I'll couple at a time. So these are those miniatures from, I think these are from Monstrous Encounters. Um, they're the characters from the Dungeons and Dragons cartoon. Or? I don't know. If we cover our eyes. Yeah, that might be better. Mm, is that better? <laughs> mm -hmm. is that um, on the, like give them little boxes for faces. And faces? Um, they're the heroes of the realm, is what they're called on my mini factory. But they're like all of the characters from the D and D cartoon. Uh, and I think that is what's this guy's name? I know all their names, but now I'm blanking on them. Um, Johnny Dangerous. No, that's not Johnny Dangerously. That's not even... Uni. That was Uni. It's Hank the Ranger, Bobby the Barbarian. Um, I think this is Diana the Acrobat. Uh, but I, these are all going to be part of the Tiamat display when he's, when she's finished. So hopefully those came out okay. Um, you can see a reel of those spinning on the on the display base on my Instagram feed. And once they're actually based, better I'll put more photos of them up. And that's it. That's what I've got for this time. And I'm so happy that I actually had something to show off. That was like progress. Progress. I do craft stuff. I am a hobbyist. Yeah, it's true. You are. <laughs> um, I meant to mention this about my crochet blanket. I did not make up this pattern. It is a free pattern. Attic 24's blog or Attic 24 on Ravelry. And she has a couple free crochet blankets. Um, and this one is just called Ripple Blanket. She also has like the Granny Stripe Blanket. The like Marshmallow um, Fudge Ripple. Oh, I wish. <laughs> um, but just in case you were curious, I don't remember how many stitches across I did, but it, I am using a K hook and it's basically worsted weight yarn. I'm holding a lot of it double, like a fingering and a DK weight together to make a worsted or just a worsted. So a worsted weight yarn yes. is yarn that the entire ball of that weighs as much as a German sausage. No, that's... <laughs> that's not... Wrong worst. <laughs> oh, same. I'm the worst at this. <laughs> then uh, that would make fingering like little tiny potato. I guess, yeah. <laughs> uh, all right, this is what I've done to make me feel proud. You finished something. I finished. I mean, something. I'm not surprised. It's not socks this time, though. But it's not socks. I finished up my daughter, our daughter's out? sweater. Her Time Turner sweater so cool. from the official Harry Potter knitting book by Tannis. I don't remember Tannis' last name. Little Time Turner. It's so cool. And then the chain yarn sparkles go all the way around the back. But yeah, look at that. But seriously, hold it up. See look, oh, yeah, how much longer sleeves. the sleeves are. <laughs> because our daughter has arms that are like her to her knees. Her arms are so long. <laughs> but she has totally tried it on and really likes it and likes that it's done. It's washed, all the ends are woven in, and then I wanted you to do a comparison for me. Uh oh. <laughs> so this is Holst Garn Super Soft and it, it came in a cone. And I'm, this is how much I still have left oh, of wow. that cone after making this sweater. And maybe there's more hanging out somewhere else. But I wanted you to compare the yarn softness to after it has been washed. It's softer when it's done. See, see, 
it feels a little toothy when you're first working with yeah. it. And that's, I've like soaked it once and okay. dried it to get the dye color out of it. Cause sometimes there's extra mm. oil and dye in it, but it definitely gets a little fluffier and softer yeah, after this, it's yeah, been washed. Feels pretty nice. And I think it continues to get softer. This is not as soft as the sweater you made for me though. No, cause I know, <laughs> I know you need, you need 10. You, you gave it a rating of puppies last time. <laughs> You need like 10 puppies soft. 10 puppies soft. <laughs> <laughs> our kids, some of our kids can handle less puppy soft. Yeah, some need 10 true. puppy soft as well. <laughs> but that's, we know that about each of our children, what their preference is. So that's what I've got finished. I might, I'm just working a lot on this blanket right now because it's really comforting to just have that repetition. Yeah. I may do a pair of socks here and there, but we'll see. Sounds I might good. do a sweater for myself. What? 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 <laughs> I'm mostly just looking forward to getting a little cooler out so I can wear some of the sweaters yeah. that I've made for myself. Fall is here. No, we're not going to jump into that song. <laughs> I almost did. <laughs> Fall is here in the air. <laughs> Anyways. <laughs> we can tell that we're going to be friends. I can tell that we are going to be friends. Um... So that's what we've got with the hobby stuff. Yeah. Now, talk to me a little bit about your current past time of going to the library and buying books that make you cry. Buying books? Picking out books? Picking out. Sorry. I don't know if you've ever been to a library, but that's not where you go to buy books. Ooh. Ooh. You go to check books out. Sorry. And to celebrate Spelljammer coming out, she chose a book with the new hippopotamus-based GIF or GIF race. Now, you can tell us in the comments below whether you say it GIF or GIF. Um, just spell it either G-I-F-F -F to say GIF or spell it G-I-F-F -F to spell GIF. <laughs> and I still don't understand what he's talking about, <laughs> but that's okay. So yes, we went to the library. Our girls did the summer library reading program and they went to go like turn in all their things. And one of our daughters won a gifts card. She's so excited. So we got to go pick that up. Um, and I just being in the mood that I'm in right now, totally went to the kids picture book section about grief and picked out a bunch of which like I can laugh about right now, but then I went home and read them and basically just bawled my eyes out. Um, but this one was really good and it's called Maybe Tomorrow. And I am for sure the sad hippo. That's just kind of how I feel right now. And that's okay. But this is our alligator friend. Our little alligator friend is helping me feel happy. It's true. But, um, <clears throat> yeah, what's the premise of that? In that book. The premise of that book is that grief is always with you, um, even though it can get smaller and um, you kind of just have to acknowledge that like it's not something that's ever going to go away, but that we keep on living each day. And the lesson about how heavy that grief can feel and about how, oh, yeah. how you heavy. don't have to be by yourself to carry it. Yes. Yeah, it's like a really super profound book about grief and loss and how we need people. And so to that end, um, I just learned the other day that um, it was Grief Awareness Day and Lisa Marie Presley, her um, son died to suicide two years ago and she wrote a beautiful article um, that went into People Magazine I, if, I highly recommend anyone who is walking through grief or even walking with somebody else through grief because a lot of the content of it really talks about like how to love people who are walking through really heavy grief. Um, it talks a lot about the stigmas that follow around people who have lost someone, particularly to suicide. Um, and like a really big piece of that is like sometimes people will be with you right at the beginning of it and then kind of fall away. And it makes sense because why would you want to be around somebody who reminds you of your like worst fears ever happening? Um, but the reality is like those who have gone through this pain and this grief um, still need people to check in on them. Like just cause some, just cause 
like you just don't move on like you you do you like move forward but you don't ever move it doesn't on. ever go away yeah. um like time doesn't heal this wound like you i'm just going to be going through my life with this wound and it will be more potent at times and at other times like there will be loads of levity but in the meantime like yeah it is just uh something that it's it means the world to have anybody like at any time like for the rest of my life probably <laughs> for the rest of our lives to just be like how are you doing with that and um to like ask about my brother um so that's something that like will always be a thing I'll always want to talk about him because that's how I keep his memory alive and um yeah, yeah. so that's a little bit about where we're at in that grief process and I realize that it can just like be uncomfortable that we've added this as a segment to like a crafting uh pod crafting log. and gratitude and encouragement and but it is like all part of our we process all story and I'm, my education background is in art therapy and counseling. Um, and I may dive back into that someday, but at this point, like crafting and doing things like this grief blanket or uh, making things for people or just making in general, like is a huge um, tool for healing. Um, just keeping my hands busy and creating even in the midst of loss. Um, so the fact that I have the mojo to do that is really encouraging and really, really helpful. So keep crafting, keep making, making things for yourself like Howard's Tiamat, <laughs> making things for others on commission or as gifts um, because making is like, it's just an innate part of who we are. Like we are made to create yeah, because we are made in the image of our creator. And so, so that is like a huge, powerful part of us to create good and true and beautiful things in the world. And Even if they're demons. Sorry. Whoa. <laughs> Sorry. Just joking. Demons. I, know. I mean, it's cool. Looking. It is really cool. He's <laughs> really cool looking. And you painted that and you're very talented. Oh, and your shirt is also thanks. really cute. It's so people can see that. One more roll. Just one more roll. I wore this one of the days at the youth camp that I went to, and I got so many compliments from middle and high schoolers. I felt super cool. You are super cool. <laughs> middle and high schoolers think you're cool. Well, they so, think this shirt is cool, but, you know, I'm cool by proxy because I put it on. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> I dressed myself. <laughs> so, Howard, what are you grateful for today? Oh, my gosh. I am so thankful that we have friends that we love so much but that they trust us with their most precious thing, and that is this dog, who is my favorite dog in the world right now. So oh, yeah, he's such a snuggle bug too. I'm very thankful for that. I'm thankful that we got to spend um, a few nights at the beach, uh, and I'm thankful that both of my pending sales on my listings are past their inspections. That is always a good so feeling. That's a good feeling. Yeah. What are you thankful for? I'm really thankful that our kids are starting into their school routine, oh, even though I already teared up this morning <laughs> at the thought of them going to school for only four hours. I already started getting like, I'm probably going to be a mess next yeah, week. you will be. I just know it. And so I'm trying to keep my schedule not All too busy. No, not, oh, busy, not too busy so that okay. I, can, I can feel my feels in real time. Yeah. I'm going to be sad. It's going to be fine. I'm going to be so excited to pick them up at the end of the day. Um, I'm really glad we have some fuzz therapy with us right yeah, now really so that timing. we can get lots of snuggles in. And yeah, our beach time was really lovely. And we have a funny video clip to put on the end. Yes, with permission. <laughs> with permission. Our friend who came with us to the beach uh, gave us permission to share this clip because while we were waiting for our delicious Indian food cuisine so good and uh, there just happened to be a tetherball there so of course you're gonna play tetherball while you're waiting for your food yeah why wouldn't, so, you? <laughs> why wouldn't you and it made us laugh 
a lot and <laughs> laughing is the best. It's a great medicine. So we laughed a lot and had a really good time. And then what is our, oh, so our call to makers this week. Yeah. Encouraging each other. Yeah. So reach out, reach out today. Reach out today to a friend who comes to mind. Just tell them you're thinking about them. And tell people you love them more. And because you, you can't say it enough. And if you see something that you like that somebody has made, hit that like button. But also send them a comment. Like leave a comment that says, hey, I really like this. People love to hear that. Yeah. Yeah, it's a whole wild thing that's happening on Instagram. I guess reels are getting pushed a lot more, which I feel for people who are really using Instagram as their marketing strategy, if that's the algorithm now so that their getting posts visible, and getting yeah. visibility and seen, and that's not like their thing, I really feel sorry for you. Like yeah. that's that just feels like an added burden. I like pictures. I like scrolling through the pictures. <clears throat> I like looking through the stories. Um, it just seems like a stressful thing to have to add on. Unless, unless you're like some of the people who will really, really enjoy making reels. But I got like that one reel that I made that had over th almost a thousand likes now. I only yeah. had like two comments on it. And yeah. I'd rather get like a hundred <laughs> likes and ten comments, honestly, just because I like the... You like the comment engagement? I like engagement more. Yeah. But... Whatever. Yeah. I don't know. I mean, I would just encourage you to be encouraging. That's what yes. that's what we're here Basically. for. And if you guys make something, if you're a maker, please share it in our comments. And yeah. we'd be happy to take a look at your stuff. We would love to see what you're making and um, like and encourage you as well. Yes, truly. So I think that's all we have for today. And now that our kids are getting back in school and we don't have any trips planned to be anywhere in the near future, we should be back on a regular two week rhythm. Yep. And um, we were a little bit wonky the last couple of weeks, but that's okay. And we'll have this up. We never Seriously? said what day it is because <laughs> we're so embarrassed. We don't know what day it is. It's September 3rd or 4th. Third. <laughs> right? Is it the 3rd or the 4th? Tuesday was the 3rd. It's the 3rd. It's the 3rd. It is Saturday, September 3rd. Excellent. Yes. Okay. Yeah. I know. Cause... Yeah, because Wednesday was the 31st. Oh, that's how... I like how that's how you remember. I remember Tuesday it because was yesterday the was the 2nd. <laughs> I didn't know that yesterday was the 2nd. I had to go back to Tuesday, which was And because I had to go in and get my oh, um, yeah, temporary right. crown yesterday that's on right. the 2nd. So temporary. that's how I remember <laughs> Uh, next time we record, hopefully I will have my permanent crown on my tooth and it's going to be gold. Gold! And I'll be a pirate. Arr. Uh, but for now, uh, we hope you have a great couple of weeks and we will just say uh, Minnie and Mia out. Phil was always so much better at this than me.